So in this question, we want to skim and scan the question to see how many substances they're giving us information about. They're giving us information, numerical data, about the barium hydroxides. They're giving us numerical data about the sodium sulfate. And they then want us to work out the concentration of the sodium hydroxide. Because it speaks about three substances, that means that we're going to call this dilution three. And this, again, is going to be another type of dilution and a different process. So the first thing we want to do is we want to look at the information we've been given. It's given us information about barium hydroxide and it's given us information about sodium sulfate. As a result, because we're working with two reactants, we have to calculate the number of moles to identify which substance could be in excess. So N is equal to C times V. The concentration we're given is 0 0.01 times by 50 centimetres cubed. Divide that by 1,000 to put it into litres. So when we put that into our calculator, 50 divided by 1,000 times by 0 0.01 gives us 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros in front of the 5. So that is 5 times 10 to the minus 4. Or you can pop that into your calculator. The information they're giving us about the sodium sulfate, uh, number of moles is equal to C times V. We've got the same concentration, the same volume, and therefore we will have the same number of moles. Now, from the balanced equation, we can see that the ratio of barium, sulf uh, barium hydroxide to sodium sulfate is the same. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. And because we've got equal number of moles, that means that all of the reactants are going to take place in the reaction. All of them are going to be used up. So because of that, what we have to do is we have to add up the total reactant moles. So I've got 5 times 10 to the minus 4. I'm going to times that by 2 because I've got that on either side. And that gives me the total number of moles is 0 0.001 moles. Because of that, we need to add up the total reactant volume. I've got 50 centimetres cubed of my barium hydroxide. And I've got 50 centimetres cubed of my sodium sulfate. So that would give me a volume of 0 0.1 litres when I convert that. 50 centimetres cubed plus 50 centimetres cubed gives me 100. Divide that by 1,000 to get 0 0.1 litres. We then want to proportionalise. We're looking at our total reactants and proportionalising for our product. What we can see is we know that we've got a total from the balanced equation of two moles of our reactant. And we can see that we have got two moles of our sodium hydroxide product. We have not got a total of two moles. We calculated that we've got a total of 0 0.001 moles. We would cross multiply that. Two times 0 0.001 divided by two is going to give us 0 0.001 moles of product produced. To finish this off, the question wants us to calculate concentration concentration is equal to number of moles over volume. The number of moles we've calculated is 0 0.001. We need to do it over the total volume, which is 0 0.1. And when we put that into the calculator, 0 0.001 divided by 0 0.1, that gives us a concentration of 0 0.01 moles per litre. That was in litres, that's our moles. And the way we usually write that is like so. So the correct answer to this past paper question is multiple choice answer B.